You were looking live at Capitol Hill. Congresswoman Corrine Brown expected back at work in Washington there today. Sources tell News for Jack she was federally subpoenaed by the Department of Justice and FBI. The Florida Times Union reports it happened while Brown and others were having dinner Monday at a Northside barbecue restaurant, the place where politicos gather, and that she told agents she would, quote, be in touch. News for Jack sat down with political analyst Jennifer Carroll to try and get a better sense about why this happened. Channel 4's Heather Lee is joining us now live. Heather? Well, one thought on this whole thing is that this could be related to the endorsements that Brown gives other candidates during election season. Now, this is uh, this is the Kareen Quick Picks, and this is an example from 2015, last year. And in the past, some ra it, some raised concerns about how those endorsements were obtained and how she went about picking candidates in the first place. But Carol says only time really will tell what all of this is about. A shell game or real allegations. It could be something serious, or it could be something that, as Congresswoman Brown brings up to distract her from her re-election campaign and her challenge to the redistricting. News for Jack's political analyst Jennifer Carroll is just as stumped, so we reached out to Kareen Brown herself to see what she had to say. She released this statement saying, quote, I want to assure my constituents that these unfounded and politically motivated actions will not distract me from my critical work of ensuring that the federal resources and rights of the citizens of the 5th Congressional District are being protected. The tone in itself that is politically motivated could lead, lend itself that her involvement in the last campaign for the city council races, that she was uh, physically uh, Picking sides. Carol says it also could be in regards to her redistricting fight. If she says her district is under attack, actually it's not her district, it's the people's district. Happens to be the number of the district in which she serves. And if that's the case, it could be related to how aggressively she's been fighting the redistricting efforts to change her district makeup the way it is. Either way, Carol says we must wait patiently to see how everything unfolds. Now, we want to remind you that Jennifer Carroll ran against Kareem Brown twice and lost. And we did reach out to the Department of Justice and the FBI about this subpoena. And both could not comment and said that they could not uh, uh, um, tell us whether, confirm or deny uh, that this was an investigation. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station.